Hey guys, welcome to Cooking with Love Alicious. I'd like to say thank you to everyone who has sent messages requesting stuff and to everyone who has started to make my recipes. I have loved your feedback. Yes, some critics, some good, some bad. Fabulous, but enjoying it. I'd like to say I'm, I'm very fortunate to have been born into a family who love cooking and who are generally, most of us, cook very well. Almost like chefs, but home cooks. So today I'm going to welcome you into my type of cooking. So my type of style is a lot different from my family. I'm very uh, into new stuff and trying new things. So this is my original recipe. I, I have never, uh, I've never seen this done before. It's called um, Ratatouille Stuffed Cannelloni. It's the first recipe I made for um, Bedford View and Edenville newspaper and they loved it and I'm sure you're going to love it. So Ratatouille, it means vegetables. So there's many type of vegetables that's going to go in here, but it's not going to be too much where you're not going to be able to buy. So the first one, the biggest one is aubergine. As you can see, I have um, soaked it in salt water. Not too sure if this is an old wives tale or, um, or just real. But when you soak it in salt water, it takes away the rubbery um, outside, uh, outside of the um, aubergine and it takes the water away from the aubergine itself. And funnily saying, it's soaking in water, but it does take out the water. Then there's a little onion, so it's a, about a quarter or half an onion, a small onion. Then it's, there's baby marrow, about four or five small ones, and I've cut it to small sizes. Then there's peppers, so the three colors of peppers, green, red, and yellow. So um, you're going to flash fry all of these things. Then there's two types of cheese. I'm a person that likes, um, I love mozzarella, but when I find, I find that I put too much on my pastas or pizzas, it tends to clap together and not allow you to cut it properly. So what I do is I mix it with white cheddar and I mix sort of half and half or sometimes more white cheddar than mozzarella but it's how much you have if you don't have mozzarella you can use white cheddar you can use gouda you can use any cheese that you'd like then i've also made already a relish which we've already given you the recipe for which is liquidized tomatoes and onions fried up in a little oil and um well i put chilies as you know i like hot so i always put extra chilies and extra onion and um, so you put two te teaspoons of chili powder, aromat, a little sugar and let it simmer until you can see the oil coming out there. And then I've also pre-made a white sauce which is the same exact recipe for the mushroom sauce. The only thing you would do is leave out the mushroom but it's the same thing. So these two are pre-made. Then you will all also have a little packet, it's a small packet, 50 gram packet of tomato paste. Um, tomato paste, it's to make it richer and thicker. So you're not gonna use these two into your, your curry base, your ratatouille base, but you'll use the tomato paste. So I hope you're gonna be enjoying being here today with me. Um, so let's start. So we are now going to start cooking the ratatouille. Generally, I put all of the ingredients in the oven, but before putting in the oven, I fry it on, in a frying pan, each separately for a, for a minute or two, and then dump it in a container and put it with a foil top and put it in the oven for 30 minutes at 190. But today, I'm going to show you on the stove. So I've got a little bit of oil that's going to now splatter because I've put it on and kept it on for a little while. So you just add all of the ingredients together. You don't need to wait to add anything. Okay, well, I'll leave the green peppers, I mean the peppers for later. So you'll put the aubergines as well. I've drained it now and taken out that um, brown water, rinsed it out, and now I'll add it into the pot. Now, the reason why aubergine is very popular as a substitute for meat, it is very meaty. It, it actually comes out, people don't know that it's, it's a veg that's in 
um, the cannelloni. It actually tastes like some meat because it's so lovely and meaty. So you're going to fry this for a few minutes. On, in this recipe, you don't need ginger and garlic. You, you'll, you'll need aromat, but you don't need anything other than all your vegetables and your cheese. So as soon as it turns color, then you add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, it's been now about five to seven minutes more and you're going to add the um, tomato paste. You may think it's very little, but you don't want um, a very gravy-ish or, or saucy type of um, filling because your sauce is going to be on the outside. You have two different sauces on the outside. You can add your sugar. So as I've added about one and a half teaspoon, um, but you can you can taste and and put it to your own taste. But I like um, something slightly sweet because I've got the other uh, sauces that cover the salty part. So if you look closer, you will see that it's now got a slight um, sauciness, but not too much. So you're going to leave it for another minute or two to let it cook. And then you will leave it for about 5 to 10 minutes to cool completely. If you can work with hot, then you can work with it immediately. If not, you could rather wait and let it cool down completely before working with it. I generally work with hot stuff, so I can, but I'm going to let it cool for a minute or two. Now that the uh, ratatouille is cooled, we're going to now stuff the cannelloni. So this is cannelloni. It's a pasta. So I don't boil it or I don't, um, you know, make it soft. Uh, previously for the restaurant, I used to make it soft by putting it in a container and filling it with boiling water and leaving it to stand and then stuff it. But but difficult to stuff it when it's very soft. But I found that I've been using it like this now and it cooks properly in the oven. So I'm going to start stuffing it. But first, I'm going to layer of, um, the relish at the bottom. So you don't need too much at the bottom because you're going to put relish and the white sauce. So you just put a little bit of it on, on the in the container. And then a little bit of your white sauce. Again, no special method, no nothing. You just layer. It's going to be layered. So you will take your cannelloni and you will take a little teaspoon, I think it works better, and you will start stuffing. So you hold your finger, little finger at the bottom of the cannelloni and start stuffing it. It, it actually is a bit of a messy thing, um, but you will get used to it. Okay, so this is how I've, I've finished off with it. I've layered it on my, in my container. You can have a square container, any kind of container, and you will fill it in as your container desires. I'd leave the outsides because it's enough. There's two, four, six, seven cannellonis there. So now I'm still going to layer again another. This time you can be a bit generous because you're going to want your cannelloni to cook. So you can put extra of the um, relish on it and obviously you're going to use quite a bit of the white sauce. Don't worry if your white sauce seems thick now as it cooks it will get a little weaker. So again as well the white sauce must cover the cannelloni and make sure it's fully covered because it's going to cook in the oven. Okay, so I've finished and I've covered it uh, all over. So then you're gonna add your cheese. Again, I don't like too much cheese because you're gonna now put it for about 45 minutes. Sometimes I leave the cheese for later and I only put it once the um, cannelloni has had about 30 minutes in the oven. But I'm just going to show you if you put it in at the same time. I'm then gonna cover it with foil. So it must cover the whole container only because it needs to steam and cook inside. 
Then you will put it at 190 to 200 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes. You will take it out and then remove the foil and leave it for another 5 minutes. So in total about 40 minutes. Well, this is the finished product. Again, I put it in for 35 minutes covered and then for 5 minutes uncovered. So it comes out like this. So I'm holding it with the dishcloth because it is still hot, hot. So I'm going to dish out a plate of the cannelloni so you can see what it looks like when it's done. And you can just put some parsley for garnish. Well, not too much. I like to overdo things. And voila! Dinner is served. Thank you again guys for coming to Cooking with Lovealicious and I would like to say thank you to everyone. I'm really enjoying the, the videos and um, giving you my recipes and as I said previously it is some of it is family recipes but this one is my own. So please make it and enjoy. Please send us feedback as well. Thank you again for coming.